Hello there. Uh, my name is Sasha Poland. I am a junior on the volleyball team and I am majoring in psychology. Hey guys, my name is Jenna McCormick. I'm a freshman on the volleyball team. I'm majoring in nursing and minoring in psychology. Nice. Okay, so today we are filming a video to show you guys some educational games that you can play on the computer, um, particularly of the subject of math and then the grades of second grade and third grade. Um, this is just kind of a cool thing to do, especially during these times of COVID when we have to be six feet apart with masks on. Um, it's hard to do anything in person or anything maybe like printing out wise. Um, and so having, having things like this um, digitally can really just help you in a super easy way, get some extra practice in with any subject. Um, we just picked math today. Yeah, so we're going to show you guys lots of multiplication today with cool math games. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll get right into yeah, it. Yeah, we'll get into it. Uh, Jenna is going to show us how to play the games on the... Alright guys, so this is mathgames.com. So the first one that we're going to check out is Math Slither. So we're just going to hit play there, pretty simple. All right, and then first we'll do some second grade stuff, and then next game we can do some third grade stuff. But here we're just gonna do some addition. All right, so three, oh. <laughs> play that one again. Yeah. Four, four, no, I died again. No, that's, okay. Kinda goes so fast. two Kinda plus 11 fast. is 13. So we're just gonna find a 13 somewhere, wherever I can find 13. So you don't wanna hit any of the bigger worms. You just wanna stick to yourself. Dodge them. Try and find your number. All right, so we oh, see 13 is. up there. Oh, yeah. someone else got it. All right, we'll find 13 somewhere else. It's all right, no big deal. All right, here's 13 right here, cool. So four plus 17, 22, 21. It's okay, this is why we're doing this, to get better. <laughs> All right, oh, there's 21 down there. I'm going to get oh. it. Okay, nice. All right, cool. Five plus 17, that's 22. Nice. Nice. All right, two plus 16 is 18. Down there. Then I'll show you guys how to end the game, just if you want to. Oh, maybe I won't, because that one just disappeared. So mm -hmm. we'll go over here. Then you just hit one, and then it's over. So we can move on to the next one. So there are a few more games on here, if you guys are interested. But we can look at Number Worms as well, which is another one that's kind of similar to the one we just played. So we'll hit play. And then this one we're going to do third grade for you guys. And let's do some multiplication. Yes, it's my favorite. Favorite. We love multiplication. Yes. So three times three, you guys know that. It's nine. So we're just going to go get nine over there. Two times two, that's four. Oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get them. Yeah. All right, five times five is 25, which is right down there. One times one, you guys know that. Say it with me. It's one. one. <laughs> nice. All right, five times five again. We've already done this. We know this. It's 25. Okay. We're just gonna go right over here. Oh, we went up level a level. Up. Four times four, 16. You guys get the gist. Just some basic multiplication practice. Very exciting stuff. Then we'll show you guys how to end this one. You just go like, oh, maybe not. All right, we'll keep going until we can figure out that. All right, 25, and then oh. we just end it like that. All right, but we reached level two. Very exciting. And then the last one we'll show you guys is Tune Balloons. So we'll open this one up. All right, just hit play again like all the others. And we'll do third grade again. And we'll do some multiplication again. All right. 
So the question is three times three. So you just pick nine, cool. And then one times one, so we'll pick one. Two times two, we'll pick four. So you're pretty much just clicking on the right answer for the multiplication. We'll get one wrong just to show you guys what happens then. So four times four, we all know that's 16, but I'm gonna press 18 and I'll just tell you that it's incorrect. No big deal, you can keep playing if you want. So four by four is again 16. So if you get it wrong, it'll ask you the same question again, just that you can get some practice in to know what the right answer is. Um, so again, four times four, we all know that. It's 16. 16. Two times two, say it with me, everybody. It's four. four. <laughs> Let's see, one times one, that's one. Yeah, so you guys get the gist. We're just collecting prizes. So we'll collect up to that 11 that it wants us to. So there's the four again. Four times four, 16. We've seen this one before. Nice. One times one, that's one. There we go. Yeah. So awesome. that's the gist of it. Thank you, Jenna. Very exciting stuff. And that was some math yep. at the website is mathgames.com. Yeah, so you guys can find that when you guys need some fun stuff to do and some great ways to practice math. And uh, yeah, have fun. Get at it.